And now to the final segment of the show, in keeping with the rise with India theme uh, that we are bearing big on right here at ET now, we bring you a venture that wants to change the state of uh, India's electric vehicle infrastructure going forward. We're talking about Sun Mobility, which um, uh, wants to build um, an electric vehicle infrastructure for India that will help it, uh, you know, march towards the government's target of 100% um, e-nation by 2030. Now this uh, venture has been uh, founded by uh, Chetan Mani, uh, funded by Uday Khemkanak. Chetan Mani, remember, uh, was the person who founded and built Reva into India's first electric car business. So this is again him getting back to entrepreneurship. We caught up with Chetan Mani and uh, Uday Khemkanak to really find out about the scope of Sun Mobility, how they will uh, uh, grow this and scale Scale this to meet India's needs. Listen into what they have to say. It's been quite exciting. All this been four and a half months. We've been working on it for 12 months, mm -hmm. and we've already fired a lot of the core IP and core technology. Mm -hmm. uh, we came out the market when we were ready with a thought process of how we would progress. Mm -hmm. um, so we've been doing a lot of work on the technology side, and we should be able to demonstrate uh, our first solutions. Um, the second area we've been engaging with the government is working on partnerships across the entire chain. So with OEMs. With OEMs, with mobility solution providers. So we've signed up a host of MOUs and, and agreements. Um, some of them which are public. Uh, for example, uh, a month ago we signed up with uh, a strategic alliance with Ashok Leyland, hmm. where they would supply the electric buses, we would supply the entire batteries and energy solution, and jointly go to markets, not just in India, but globally. Hmm. Um, so for, for some, a company that's officially been out four months, uh, that's a lot accomplished, I feel, already. Right. Um, in terms of you know your own commitment to the space, it obviously ties in with what the government is saying as well on the 2030 target. So, uh, you know, how much have you invested so far? H how much will you be willing to invest? Because this obviously requires a lot of investment and research going forward. So obviously, the government has two different targets I'm hmm. interested in: hmm. the 2022 target on renewables hmm. 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 and the 2030 target on mobility. And these targets are stretch targets to motivate all of us mm. to get excited to invest. And the truth is, I and mean, we as a group brought in about $6 billion into India. And not all of that comes from our own balance sheet. It comes from world class, pension funds, sovereign investors, institutional investors. So we're very involved also in working with policymakers to make sure that the frameworks mm. attract the kind of capital that we need for these huge transformations. This is not like creating a, a small FMCG company. So hmm. both with Sun Renewables and with Sun Mobility, those frameworks are evolving as we speak. And we're seeing the transition, for example, in renewables from hedge funds and private equity firms to large scale institutional investors who want yield. And that allows you then to expand the scale of your investment program from tens of millions of dollars to hundreds hmm. of millions of dollars over time. Any specifics that you can share with respect to Sun Mobility? Um, you know, it's, it's a work in progress right now because mm -hmm. it is the most exciting, dynamic environment I've ever come across. When you're sitting with bus manufacturers and automobile manufacturers mm -hmm. and, and multiple segments to look at that. And I think that in the development phase, you're dealing with numbers that are below $100 million. Mm -hmm. But you soon, after, in the scale-up phase, will have to be in hundreds of millions of dollars of investment to truly make this revolution work. Right. Um, uh, Chetan, you know, compared to the time, uh, you know, when you were running Reba to now, when the government talks so much about renewables and um, Elon Musk tweets every other month about whether he's coming or not coming to India, uh, do you think the appetite has increased for renewables, for electric, and um, the enabling infrastructure also, do you think it's sort of, uh, you know, increased from the time you were running an electric vehicle company? So I think uh, the first large part is the government's aspiration to go electric by 2030. Mm. The second is a set of policies that have come in, the FAME policies, the GSTs at lower levels. So it's already you're seeing a framework of this. Yeah, I think happening. for solar equipment it's at 5%. Correct. And for GST for cars, electric cars, is lower than regular vehicles. So these are good positive frameworks on this area. The third is battery technologies have been declining 8% year on year. Mm. The last few years have been 15% year on year. The fourth is electric mobility technology, power trains, everything else, hmm. has performance have gone, have gone up and costs have come down. 
So if you think of all of these ecosystem changes, it's been very different than it was 10 years ago. Hmm. The last part is the shared mobility side of it, of how the economy is coming. And so the drivers of the economy of shared mobility have a big impact on electric mobility together. Mm. So considering from, from the Reva days, I think uh, it's a great shift at a macro level. Mm. The challenge, however, still remains. And the reason we started Sun Mobility was to really see that the fact that the cost of electric vehicles are still far more than internal combustion engine vehicles. Right. right. People are still concerned about the range anxiety, uh, how far they can drive. And people are really still concerned about the long refueling time, which is, you know, takes several hours, even with fast charging takes an hour. Mm. And so unless we fundamentally address these three issues mm. of product cost for consumers, range anxiety, as well as refueling times, I don't think you'll be able to meet India's targets of 2030 going more electric. Right. right. You mentioned shared mobility. I mean, um, so you know, our cab aggregators again a big focus area because you want to supply this technology eventually, not just to cars, but you know, to autos and buses and all kinds of transport. Will that be a focus as well? Our, our large focus is on shared mobility. It's, mm. It is the largest growing market segment. Mm. It's also the most impact in society, both mm. from an energy and pollution perspective. And also, shared economy today is, is being challenged on costs. They still mm. are not profitable. And one way of bringing in uh, cost savings is by using solutions around energy mobility mm. that enable you to save some of that money. So I On that note then, we come to the end of this edition of ET Now Startup Central. Like Sun Mobility, we will be bringing you many more ventures uh, focused on India, building for India going forward. But uh, thanks so much for watching and keep it with ET Now.